Hello guys, I'm Jitin Zajuras. Yeah, welcome you to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorial. And today's tutorial is going to be a MS Word tutorial, and we are going to see how to use styles and what all its power. As you might have already seen the thumbnail of the video, that it's most underrated feature that I personally feel, but it's really powerful. So I'm going to show you how you can use. And before I start the tutorial, I just want to know, in case you are a student and uh, you are a scholar, research scholar, or you are PhD or MTech or BTEC, any kind of study you are doing, you need to write a lot of reports with some formatting given by your institution. Uh, so this tutorial is going to help you in that way. And in that, in the, in the same regard, we are also going to see what is the power of using style function. So in case you don't know about styles, you can see uh, we have a tab over here, which is called as styles. Okay, so this is named as style. So let me just quickly add some text over here. So most of the deeper technical writings we have uh, it starts with introduction okay so one dot okay it automatically takes it introduction introduction okay let's say you have second so let us not go further i i know that i i'm going to have some subsections into the introduction one so what exactly i'm doing is i'm making a template a template based upon your needs so that that will help you throughout the document okay so the five minutes that you're going to spend here before you start your report writing or thesis, dissertation, whatever it is, or even a manuscript for your upcoming paper, the five minutes that you're going to spend here will really gonna help you throughout the process of writing this document. So now I have pressed tab. So I have, I got a subsection. Okay, so just I'll name it subsection. Again, I will press again tab. So I am in the third so means the first is a section, subsection. Now I mean sub subsection. Okay, let me take one more. So it is like sub sub section. Now I know that uh, most of the time this it, it will not be following. Uh, you will, you are not going to follow this uh, standard one a, then Roman one and then one. Most probably it is going to be like one, one point one, one point one point one, one point one point one, and so on. So what you're gonna do is here, uh, you just select this, okay? So we are done with this. Now you can see you have some indents going over here. I don't want this indents to be there. I want everything to be aligned properly to this line that you're seeing on the screen. So what, how are you going to do that? So for, the, for that, what you need to do, just make sure that first you are you are selected the level one, okay? So I will, I will call it level one, level two, level three and level four okay so before uh we we do these things i just want to do one trick here that's going to help you okay so how i'm bringing the styles into picture is you click on the introduction just you have to click no need to select right click here update to match selection then click on the 1.1 now you can see heading two is here you can click click to match selection the once you do that you will see heading three is there so click on the third level and click match to selection and now fourth one click to match selection so as you can see heading one is one level one level two level three and level four okay with this we'll move forward to just sort this problem that everything should be on this margin line come here to this option okay bullet numbers and then the third option i don't know what really what to what to call it but uh, let's come to that option then you have option called define new multi-level list come to that and you have options here okay so let's just play around this and i'll just click more here so that we'll get more options here i'll click uh, set for all levels and make sure that everything is zero here so i'll click ok and uh, everything comes back the problem is resolved but one thing you need to see here if you see here uh, between this one and dot and introduction the gap is more but here gap is less for my requirement i want everything to have okay let's say it may suit you but for my requirement i want everything to have a common spacing so what i'm going to do is click on the introduction again come to the same option define multi-level list and make sure instead of type character it is space click ok do the same thing for other options also. So multi-level list instead of tab 
character space do the for the third level uh, space and again for the fourth level space nice we are good to go now definitely your project formatting is not going to be in Calibri definitely right so most probably I as far as I know it is, it is going to be Times New Roman okay if you have any other choice of font you can definitely go with it no issues so my concern uh, is I have to go with the 12 font and uh, uh, Times New Roman font and everything is going here to be bold so what you have to do once again here is update okay so first level heading one update it heading two update it third update it fourth update it so how many levels you have like that you need to go guys mind me you are done okay you are not going to face any numbering issue hereafter so let's say you press enter you have you are going to add some text here okay so i'll press equal sign grand and just i'll give right three comma three okay you might be wondering what is this so what i'm going to do is this is a function in microsoft world inbuilt function random paragraph i want with three paragraphs and three lines each okay so three comma three means three paragraph each with three lines uh, the moment you press enter you're going to get some random text so now i'll select all these three just to copy it okay i because i need some content here to be there and i'll press enter so now our all the sections have some text now let's say you are going to start second chapter let's say the second chapter is literature review now as usual what you will do to dot you will start like this that's correct no issues but now what you have to do just click heading one literature review in case you have subsections very good heading two sub section okay you can write your text and you can continue with adding anything but you might be wondering this font is not again times new roman so now you say again oh my god i need to change the text in all the paragraphs guys this is the power of styles select any any even any single word you select okay just change it to the formatting you need times 12 size with some spacing 1.5 make sure that you select or at least you click on the place where you changed and just click it to update guys everywhere you will see that is done okay let's see even tomorrow your guide says this heading is going to be blue color okay see guys just make it red uh, blue whatever is there update it wherever you is going to see your heading one is going to be there right exact in front of you you want to you want to make it underlined you underline it just update it here everywhere is going to change you can see it's changed here also so that's the power of uh, that's the power of using style okay you might be wondering is that all i would say no it's not that's all you have so many things to go another power that you have is let me just add few more text here okay so just i'll control v i'll take a couple of subsections so that it's easy for me to demonstrate what i'm trying to show you here so subsection two okay now you come to view options and uh, view tab sorry and under that you will see a navigation pane click it uh, so you can see your document is well structured here okay now let's say tomorrow your guide says uh, your guide your supervisor your uh, manager whoever he says i want this literature review to be first and then introduction okay then what you will do you will select like this you will press ctrl x to cut and then you will paste it above no guys you're not going to get that it's very easy if you do in this way just come to navigation pane select literature review and drag it on the top you are you're done guys you're done really you're done in fact the number is also changed okay so you can see the introduction is now heading as number two and literature review as one so that is another power of using styles okay 
so i learned this technique uh, when i was in uh, when i was doing my masters so uh, i uh, from that time till now i'm really enjoying this feature uh, it really makes me uh, like it gives me freedom not to think much in terms of formatting okay another advantage that i'm going to show you is let's say i'll just copy it once once again okay so let's say you want to select everything in literature review okay so what you can do just right click you can say this option here called uh, select heading and content okay so you can see everything under literature is selected so i'll just press control c and control v in the last here so you can see the number is very proper okay you need not to worry about numbering now onwards so let's say my third section is going to be results uh let's see not results materials and methodology still there materials and methodology okay now you want whenever there is a new heading starts okay to one automatically the second or the third okay you can see it's not going to next page automatically so now i'll tell you the moment you give something as heading one okay something style as heading one it will automatically go to the next page so right click here modify okay so whatever you want to modify let's say heading one you want to make it black you don't want underline and you want 14 okay done now the thing that i told you that it should automatically go to the next page so you have to come to paragraph you have to go to second tab line and page break and then you have to click page break before click ok and ok now guys you see literature review starts on a new page introduction starts on a new page as well as third methodology materials and methodology starts on the new page so guys uh, that's all for the tutorial there is still more to do and i'll be releasing that videos pretty soon but i hope that uh, this is gonna really help you in writing and with this i will end my end the tutorial and uh, with my all regards enjoy writing thank you very much i'll see you in the next video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for this kind of tutorials thank you very much